Thanks for joining me again. This is going to be another scene north of the border. I'm going to start off by wetting the paper all over and then uh, not really planning, just going straight in head first. Just get a bit of light red, a bit of raw sienna, just haphazardly all the way down to the bottom of the page. Clean the brush. Um, let's go ultramarine, a bit more light red. go ultramarine, Payne's grey, really darken it up a bit, just dipping the tips in so the water brush doesn't become too dry. Ultramarine, Payne's grey, and then I'm sort of just flicking down, that's where the sun's going to be shining from somewhere down that bottom bit, round the back, and a bit of light reflecting off the water. <coughs> and we can carry on doing this until the water, as long as the paper's wet, there's no reason why we can't just carry on adding a bit more here and there, a bit more texture and variation and interest. Um, I can see there the water, it's, it's, the water's just starting to, I'm just going to go over that with a few little clouds and bits and pieces, taking a tissue out. You can see how it's quite um, used. And then the advantage of that is you get a, more of a sort of subtle cloud. If you want a really bright white cloud, you'll need a clean tissue that just comes straight off. But as long as the paper's wet, we can just con continue adding our little bits of texture in the sky and clouds here and there. And slowly, as it slowly dries, it'll just go on darker and darker. And the darker you make the edges, the lighter the central area will become. I think I'm happy with that now. Before I put on the uh, the background, I'm just going to pull it straight. The paper's stretched already. That's the advantage of wetting it all over first. It's only £130 paper because it's <coughs> it's not the thickest but because I wet it all over evenly you don't get that um, crinkling which look, look, looks horrible. So just taking a little bit of everything all the colours I've used in the sky look at on now, I can see it's all it's virtually dry now but I think what I'll do just dip the tips in the water just to really weaken that that mix so it's quite weak. Let's just put in some some faint background hills and the mountains. You can see no tonal variation or all detail at that distance. Just basically the, the shape, the profile of those hills and mountains on the horizon line. And that's it, don't mess about with it too much. And then as we come forward, the next layer is slightly, slightly stronger. So, a bit less water, a bit more paint. And we end up with something like, something like this. See how that's stronger now going over the hills in the background. for that line, maybe a bit more there. <coughs> and coming further forward still, you start to see the uh, the green now, the green of the land, bits of grass and trees and bushes lying on the uh, past the middle ground and into the distance. Just change the uh, flavour slightly and then just in, in a bit of raw sienna as you come further forward. <coughs> I 
I'm just doing lemon yellow, bit of raw sienna. And now I'm going to put some distant trees in. I just want them darker now, so I'm doing lemon yellow, a bit of Payne's grey. And just using the corner of the brush just to put those trees in. Few more, let's just put them all the way along. <coughs> no, right up. Up there like that. Yeah, that's a bit of light that. Something like so. I'm just gonna put a Tiny little row of cottages or houses or something. I just want to make sure this paper's flat before I start. And then what I'm going to do is just very simply, just using a plastic piece of card, the same one we scraped the rocks out with. You don't have to use it just for rocks, there's all sorts of things you can use it for, including. Little uh, little houses. So if we just scrape out the uh, the roof first. Just do another one. Little roof, and then pull down the uh, little chimney on there. Maybe just one more. One more alongside that one. Do. Just little details, you don't have to go mad with them <coughs> and don't fiddle about with them. Just a few seconds and then just leave it, walk away. Fiddling is the worst thing you can possibly do. And this is pretty light now, mostly water, a little bit of raw sienna. This I'm preserving that lighter area coming down. Bit of lemon yellow. We got some more trees on the left hand side. So we got some begins. I'm going ultramarine, lemon yellow, pines grey, and they're sort of right up here. Again, you're just using the corner of the brush and bringing it down somewhere like that. A bit of light red just to change it slightly. I want to get two red. Just get into the, the yellow just to tame that red down a bit. Um, And it's going to be like a, like a river running round there. So this is just like the uh, the banks coming down to the river. <coughs> just down into that river bank. And we've scraped in some houses, so I don't want to scrape it too much, but there are like a few little rocks around there. So let's just. That to scale, have I done them too big? I'm not sure if I've done those rocks too big. In fact, no, let's just, just pretend they're big ones rather than little ones. All I'm going to do now is do an ultramarine, put this river in. Uh, so, a bit of all the sky colours again, but sort of leaning towards blue and then. Working out the river, sort of coming around there, and then it's sweeping round. So 
sleeping room like so. Um, Two little rocks and things in the river as well. Top in a dark shade, shade, and then scrape your rocks in. Bit of a muddy bank on this side. Clean that brush, it's gone a bit too dark now. I can't get remember, we always go from light to dark. Once it's gone too dark, you have to clean your brush to get back to light. Uh, back to a bit of raw sienna down there, a bit of lemon yellow. And then I'm just going to put in the banks, I'm just getting burnt umber, ultramarine. <coughs> Can't resist the rocks, a few more on this side. The more on the water's edge. A little one down there. That'll do it, I think. Um, so, all that was with the hike. Very versatile brush. Probably do 99.9% on your paint with the hike. Um, Switch the rigger just to put some little birds in. I'm just going same colours as the sky, but not too much water there because I want it pretty, pretty faint. I'm just going to just keep them as small as I can. And there's our little birds. And then finally, just looking for the dry spot, somewhere down there I think, pop your name in, and we'll call that one finished. So let's see what it looks like with the main sun. So if we go in and have a closer look at it. <coughs> Again, as usual, started with the sky. Uh, it was sort of raw sienna and light red, this sort of orangey glow. Brought all the way down. Oh, you, you can't see much of it in the water below. But yeah, sort of nice reddy glow to the sky. Payne's grey, ultramarine, just brushed in all the way around while it was still wet. That lets you get these nice soft edges, no hard edges, as long as it's wet. Once it starts to dry, the edges will get dark, um, hard and uh, it just doesn't look the same. Few little clouds with the uh, sharp bit of the hike. A few lifted out with the tissues. A few more on the other side. I always try and keep them sorted. It's so easy to overdo them. Um, if you look at the horizon, you can see I use very little paints, lots of water, just uh, very very faint hills in the distance. And then you can see the ones slightly in front of them. Less water, more paint, so you get a stronger mix. So it brings them forward. Looks as if they're much closer than the ones behind. And then in front of that you got you start to bring in your, your, your greens then, raw sienna, lemon yellow, where you can start to see the grass, where the colours aren't as influenced by the sky quite as much. Then in front of them we've got our bits of trees, just using the corner of the hake brush. The uh, lemon yellow, pines grey, really strong green mix. Very simple trees put in, big ones here on the left hand side. Water sort of sweeps round. You got your where it breaks, where the it looks like the uh, 
bits of surf and whatnot, where the, the, the rapids. Um, again, just uh, bordering the land here with the with the rocks. Just using the corner of the uh, card, simply scrape out the rock shapes. A few more there in the water, and a few on the right hand side of the bank. We can also see our, just our little buildings there, just very simply, just scraped out, just scrape the uh, the roof out with the card. And as soon as you've got the roof out, you can hardly see the actual walls, but it just looks like a little building there, a little chimney on the top. Just adds a little bit of detail to the thing. That's why I deliberately put these dark trees in and then scraped it out there to get the best contrast. Well, I hope you like that. Thanks for watching. Any questions, please ask. Keep practicing, and I'll see you again soon.